and good day! I'm Joanna and you're watching Rocket Zoom. Today's story, the hideous sweaters that I wear. Good morning, sports racers. In a recent press release, major clothing manufacturers are urging their customers not to set fire to their wardrobes. Quoting, we promise we'll make cooler stuff. Welcome to Threadheads, the weekly do-it-yourself show that inspires you to create and recreate some outrageous styles right in your own home. Now we take DIY pretty seriously. We make the show in our apartment and we shoot the show from around the country ourselves. And if we're not making our own clothes, we're supporting folks that do. Whoa, wait, back up. You're probably wondering who the hell we are. This is Corinne. She's an environmental activist who taught me the wild ways of DIY fashion and the magic of goodwill. And this is Rob. He's a music nerd, writer, and artist. His past jobs have taken him all around the world to interview rock stars and vlog about it. This is also the first show we've ever hosted together. Well, it's kind of coming off a little like an infomercial. And do it a couple times and... A cool DIY... Yeah. I think we have it, honestly. I don't want to do it again. There are many reasons why someone decides to DIY. Environmental, moral, to escape the mundane. Maybe you're just broke. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever your reason, we want to hear from you. Maybe you got a rad show idea, or a cool DIY lesson you want to share with everyone else. Upload it, we'll put it on the show. Each week we'll be answering your questions and spotlighting cool new DIY tips, tricks, and stories sent in from viewers like you. Check this one out. Hi, my name is Brina. We are in my bedroom. And I started making my own clothes in about 1997, where I was doing a lot of modifications and vintage reconstruction. Making my own clothing gives me freedom because a lot of the time I go into stores and I don't really obviously find a lot of what I want. If you have some jeans lying around your house and you want to add a little color into your life, or if you just have jeans that have holes in them that are now no longer in fashion now that we're out of the 80s, thank God. What I did is I, I added patches of fabric that I really love. Found this vintage print on a dress that I got, used for probably about $2. I made these two concentric ovals, kind of like an egg shape. It glows in the black light, I never would have thought. And then here on the bottom, around on the insides of the ankles, we have another patch that I made. And all I did was I crocheted a chain and hand sewed it onto the edge around the fabric to give it kind of another texture. And I made my own belt loops because I love wearing decorative belts with a lot of my pants. I hope that you have lots of luck creating a pair of pants that your friends will look at and ask you, oh my gosh, where did you find those? And then you can say, I made them myself. Call you thread. Well, uh, I'm sock. Socks are made of threads. So I, you know, it's a pretty appropriate name. I like to think. Why do they? Why do they call you banger? <laughs> oh jeez, why do I even ask? <laughs> You're the perviest sock I've ever met. Hey, hey, pervy. <laughs> Does a ninja have a sense of fashion? Are you serious? Back in the day, ninja meant fashion. Black is the new black. I'll tell you what, a nice scarf really pulls this thing together. Do I look fat in this? We have tons of ways for you to be a part of the show. Just click on the upload button to submit your ideas, music, or videos. Then tune in every week to catch a show inspired by viewers like you. Cut, sew, reconstruct, risk it. Oh, my God.